Welcome back, everybody. Two seven days to die with the undead legacy mod. I'm an old guy gaming, and I don't know if you can hear this through my mic, but there is a big thunderstorm happening right outside my window right now, and a little hail, and hopefully the hail doesn't get too big. Uh, I live in Colorado, and we have forest fires and hail. Those are our two biggest natural disasters, and sometimes it can be really, really bad, like wreck your roof and your car bad. <laughs> so, um, so far it's you know, normal size, you know, pea sized hail. And I'm hoping and praying that it stays that way. Uh, anyway, so let's see. It is a horde night 161. But um, as I mentioned to you guys in an episode or two back, uh, we're not going to, we're going to take a break from horde night. We're going to take the night off. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to perch on a, uh, or we're, we'll get in, in, in a stout building and secure it so the horde can't get to us. And then we'll just loot that building. Um, you know, during the horde night. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take the mining cart with us this time, uh, just because the uh, the gyrocopter doesn't have as much storage space. And I've got a lot of food with me. I've got seven spaghettis, 28 bacon and eggs, 13 meat stews, 37 mineral waters. Uh, so that way we can stay out uh, for quite a bit longer uh, and continue looting without having to come back here. Um, so what we're going to do is... Uh, head on up to have a, have a little something or rather on my monitor monitor there. And I, at first, I, <laughs> I thought there was something floating out in the sky there. I'm going, what in the hell is that? Uh, and what did what did Subquake just add to the game that uh, flies in the sky? Anyway, um, that's actually uh, Darkness Falls, uh, <laughs> and probably. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to head back up to the north, uh, the northeastern city that's up in the forest and continue looting up there. And so I will see you guys up there and we'll just keep on keeping on. Um, I did get some response back from at least one of you about the, the choppers. Um, and the Raven is definitely um, more maneuverable and less expensive than the DH. And so the plan for, uh, for now anyways, unless I change my mind, which I always reserve the right to do, um, is we're going to, we're going to, uh, go for the Raven. Um, that way we can get it sooner, have a more maneuverable and smaller, uh, chopper to get around in and, you know, get it sooner. So that is the plan stand. All right. I will meet you guys up at the Northeast city and, uh, we will... Continue our systematic random looting and keep getting fat loots and making more money and getting upgrades and all that good stuff. See you in a bit. We're going to stop off here at Trader Hughes and just take a quick look at his inventory and check the vending machine. We haven't been to this trader in quite some time. Let's trade. It's got some hollow point. 50 caliber rounds. You know, we got to get into the 50 caliber too. I'm trying to think if I even have one. If I do, it's really low level. We'd have to start leveling it up, but that would be fun uh, to have too. Just looking and seeing what he's got here. He's got a spaz there. That's a falcon. Do I have that? Probably do. Not sure though. Spear hunter. Winter. Let's, give, make, let's just do the puffer coat. Yeah, I didn't really have Very any, well. anything I'm particularly interested in. Let's go check Trader Hugh himself and his vending machine. So we will take this. Rock busters, skull crushers, soup stock. I think well, that's the one that has recipe, I believe. If it isn't, we'll just eat it. Yeah. Yeah, this is needed for gumbo. Okay. No loitering. No loitering. You should know me by now. I don't loiter. Uh, it'd be fun to get the quad bike, too. We probably will at some point. Ooh, enforcer belt. Back sack, uh, backpack size. This is a leg armor mod. Do oh, we already boy, have that? The nails. Let's take a look. Yes, we do have an enforcer belt. Okay. I thought we did, but I'm... Who knows? We've been doing this series for so dang long, <laughs> I forget stuff anymore. Uh, let's see here. 
Okay, let's go to secret stash. Ooh, look at that sniper rifle. Too bad it's so so such a low level. Um, yeah, I just hesitate to buy that right now because we, you know, we've been pretty lucky lately with uh, find just finding S level, um, you know, gear. So yeah, I don't see that. You know what? Though I am kind of low on shotgun shells, so we should be looking. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave for shoddy shells. Um, and that reminds me too. Um, we need to prioritize plastic. I am li Hi. quite literally out of, pra of of plastic. Farewell. Um, so we got to prioritize that as we loot. Okay, he didn't have nothing. I'll see you guys up north. All right, guys, uh, we are back and we're in uh, the town here. And uh, I did my my usual blue uh, screw up thingy where I thought I was recording. I wasn't. <laughs> so um, didn't miss a whole lot. We went to the trader. Um, I bought a couple things from the vending machine. We looked inside of a vehicle, I think it was. And look what I found inside of the vehicle. We found ourselves an S level compound bow, which is really nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm, I'm trying to decide where we're going to hang out for the night because, um, ooh, we got a double on that because, um, I think I mentioned this earlier. I don't know. I'm like part, part of why things got a little messed up is because I, I got had a phone call that I had to take right in the middle of doing all this. So, ooh, whoa. <laughs> all right, we'll take that too. Nice. Why is it that, uh, I know I've said this before, but why is it that when we come to the biome that has the smallest or, or the uh, the lowest loot table, what's it called? What the hell is that thing called? I can't remember what it's called now. Um, Loot table, loot thingamadoodle. Where do we find that at? I don't even remember. Here. Game stage. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, we find we find the best stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It's just all weird RNG. Anyway, um, so I'm trying to decide where we can give the horde a little bit of a fighting chance to try and kill us. Uh during the horde night. In other words, if I if I camp out on the top of the Deshong building that's in this city, there's no way they'll get to us. That's just not going to happen. They can't, the Horde can't take down the Deshong in one night, if ever. In fact, I've never seen them actually take the Deshong down in any, any situation. I don't really want any of that stuff. Um, so, you know, I want to, I want to give them a chance to potentially get me as, as, uh, oh yeah, we're out of money too. I spent all my money. Uh, I brought about... 11,000 coin with me and I bought some advanced repair kits and spent way more money than I should have. Anyway, all that to say, I want to find a building that they could potentially bring down on us. Um, but not, you know, we also don't want to go stay on top of like a little wooden log cabin because you know for sure they're going to bring that down, right? Uh, so I'm just kind of driving around here and trying to decide uh, what the appropriate building would be for for that scenario that way we can kind of just make things exciting and see if we can survive this building hmm. one thing i didn't do is i didn't bring a bedroll with me this might be a decent candidate oh man Amount of money. Well, what we'll do is we'll, you know, after the horde night's over, we'll start looting, and then we can always go sell stuff to the trader to, to make some more money to buy stuff from these vending machines and whatnot. Right in the nuts for you. Where'd Big Mama go? Did she fall down the stairs? Yeah, she went down the stairs. 
Right in the coochie. <laughs> Big mama, you deserve it. Hey, look at this. Hold still, Arlene. Oh no, Marlene, sorry. Um So this yeah, this might be a good candidate. Um don't think I want either one of those. Yeah, I don't want either one of those things. Forget that. Let's see what's in here. Uh, sure, we'll take that. Some nails. So I think I think the horde could could potentially take this building down. Here, let's use this since we got it. So why don't we go ahead and make this our Ordinite building. Um, I was mentioning that I didn't bring a bedroll with me, and I can't make one in my inventory because this is Undead Legacy. I need a tailoring station. I can make a tailoring station in my inventory, but the tailoring station needs... Um, stuff that I can't make in my inventory. <laughs> uh, so it would be nice if we could find a, uh, here, we'll scrap that. A bedroll just went out in the world. Oh, we'll take that. But, you know, I mean, absolute worst case scenario, if the horde does kill us, we spawn back at our base, and then I can just bring the the uh, gyrocopter back. So, okay. So, what we need to do then is we need to uh, secure this place so the horde can't actually get on the roof. Oh, you know what? I need twenty of these to make that tailoring station. Actually, so if we can luck out and find a few more, maybe we can actually make this happen. There's nothing in there. Okay. What is this? A working workstation? Really? Wow. That is a absolutely rare occurrence. Too bad it wasn't a tailoring station, huh? <laughs> yeah. You don't usually find working workstations in this game. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. So, yeah. Whoa. Um... So we don't want them getting up where they can start banging on the roof. So let's get this stuff out of the way. I'll take that. Oops, I should have looted that cabinet first, but uh, sure, we'll take that. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll take that down. They could potentially get up there, but I'm not going to actually worry too much about that. Let's get... Oh, I also found uh, an A-level impact driver, too, and some loot somewhere, uh, which is an upgrade from our blue one that we have. Uh, so why don't we actually... Here, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. You know what? I don't really want those either. Let's drink this. Mm, I don't think I want that. Okay, so... Let's take this, modify, and then put those items on here. I know those are kind of weird mods to put on an impact driver, but as long as it works, it improves the tool. Okay, let's get this out of here. Who's out here? Oh, he's over that way. Oh, 
Come here, Edgar. Down with the sickness. Again, I'm just kind of removing stuff that they could climb up on and then start actually hitting on the roof. I think that's probably adequate. Oh, we need plastic. Like, in a bad way, we need plastic. Uh, I don't know. Do we get more plastic from axing or from... from wrenching? I'm not sure. Okay, so they could climb up on here, but they'd have to also beat through... That, plus there's a hanging ceiling in here, so I'm not too terribly worried about this room. Okay, let's go down here. There's probably some more zombie doodles down here. Maybe, maybe not. Take those two things. Not really too worried about any of the rest of this stuff down here. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay. Definitely want to get rid of this. Okay, let's hit this with a with the impact driver. Well, we got five plastic. Uh, ooh, nice. Uh, we don't need that, so we're gonna scrap it for the points. Uh, we got five plastic by using the impact driver on that, but that's a mod trash can. That's not a vanilla, so was it really a Apples to apples comparison there. Okay, we'll take all that. Definitely take those things. Steve. Oh, you're not Steve office dude let's get this out of the way okay I think we're we're good to go here Maybe we'll luck out and there will be a bedroll on top of this roof that we can go lay down somewhere else. Uh, wait, what am I doing? No, nope, we're looking for this. Okay. Got nasties up here. are up here. Unfortunately, you don't see a bedroll, but we do have a chair. <laughs> we can sit down in this chair and have a beer and relax and wait for the Horde night to get over. Let's see what we got in the loot skis. No. Where's my axe? There's my axe. Okay, nice. Got 
eight plastic out of that. Very nice. Ooh. That's really good. The guy must be down below. Nice! <laughs> Man, I can't believe all the good loot we're getting in the forest biome. I mean, I've been in the wasteland biome for so long, and we just weren't really getting the good stuff. It's it's still got to be just total RNG, though. All right, you guys, so this is the plan, then. Uh, we're going to see if we can survive the Horde Knight on top of this building. And I'm not going to do anything really to speak of to fight the Horde. I might throw a Molotov on their heads once in a while, but I, I am not prepared to fight them like I normally would. And we'll see if this building can survive the night. And if it doesn't, then, you know, we go down. And if I can't find a bedroll before then... We'll just spawn back on our base and we'll just have to wait till morning and take the gyrocopter back. What the hell was I hitting? I thought it was this. No, it's... <laughs> that's what I want to get out of here. There. Okay. All right, so let's spend the rest of this day... Um, just doing some more looting. Rooting, tooting, looting. Um, so let's see. I think we came up over here, right? Yeah. We'll leave that block there. We'll take that. Okay, so let's see. What do we got over there? We got a Shamway Foods... That's the Deshong Tower. Kind of been there and done that a lot recently. So yeah, I guess let's loot the Shamway Foods. I think we've, I think we've done this place before, but uh, we'll do it again. Nothing in here. Are we thirsty? Yeah, we're a little thirsty. We'll take that. Can we get back in here? Yeah, this way. What is this? Looks like a snowmobile or something. take that. Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll take the zinc, too. I'm not going to take lead, because lead is so easy to come by, but zinc is a little rarer. Oh, we're already heavy. Okay, come here. Roberta the robotic drone. Uh, don't care about that. You can take the car wheel and the battery. Don't... Well, yeah, let's hang on to the meat. You never know. Uh, the auto shotgun. We don't need clay... You take that, and that, and that, and that. I want to give give her stuff that's I'm not real likely to, to pick up again. The, you know, the rarer stuff, like the single sack stuff, that kind of thing. This is... It's worth a decent amount of money if we fix it up. Yeah, it's worth hanging on to, I suppose. Uh, but anything that's going to stack, we should keep in our own inventory. Okay, we don't need this. We don't need this. One gunpowder. Nope. We don't need potato seed. I'll keep the animal fat. Definitely want to keep the plastic. Because we are very low on plastic. I don't think we need to keep the candlestick, actually. If this was vanilla, trust me, I would not be throwing out brass. But brass is a lot easier to come by in Undead Legacy. Uh, likewise with copper, let's, uh, let's just toss that too. Okay. I think that, <clears throat> that does the job. We're going to look inside this shamway thingy. Get anybody else's attention? 
Besides Roberta the Robotic Drone? Sure, we'll take those. Uh, we'll definitely take those. Um, I don't think I'll take those. Oh. I love this shotgun, you guys. Oh, hey, get out of here. I did not invite you to my party. Wow, okay, there's a lot of resource type of loot in here for sure. But probably not something I'm going to go after unless it is like this. See? That made it worth it. In fact, we need to eat anyways. Let's just eat it. Uh, we don't need the chrysanthemum. I think these are just like construction boxes, right? They don't usually have anything too terribly well. Acid's good. We don't need another wiring tool. How much does that sell for? Nah. I mean, acid actually is a very valuable resource in this game, but I already have like stacks of it. Well, I don't know stacks, but I've got a lot of it. I guess we'll check these anyways. Yeah, 33 bolts is probably worth the effort. Uh, we can actually use more paper too now that I think about it. So uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, harvest those boxes, but if we see like these pallets of paper, you get a lot of paper from those. So that's worth doing like 38 from that one right there. 65. I mean, that's the total count. No, oh, that's not from that. Just that one. Oh, this looks like a zombadoodle trap. Um, yep, I knew it. Woohoo! Takes care of them. Sure, we'll take some water. Why not? That door's locked. Whoa. Where'd that come from? Oh, inside that room. Okay. Well, they're going to open the door for us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, outside, apparently. Check the sinks. Nah. Yes. Uh, nah, we don't need coffee. We got lots of it. Can we scrap plastic bottles for plastic? Yes, we can. Okay, I definitely... I mean, I usually pick those up anyways, but... We're going to pick them up so that we can get plastic from them. Nah. I'm not going to unlock those because they're just going to have... Uh, they're just going to have uh, clothes in them, which we don't really need. Oh, shit. How many Zeeks do we got coming? Actually, I shouldn't be wasting my shotgun shells on stuff like that. All right, let's take this apart with the impact driver and see if... We'll see how much we get, how much plastic we get. Okay, we got nine plastic. So the next one of those we come across, we'll take apart with the axe and see if it makes any difference at all. Don't care about any of that stuff. What time is it? It's eight. Okay, we still have time. We got time, man.
That looks like maybe the fat loots. Uh, we should probably unlock the desk because it could have books and stuff in it. So let's do that. Actually, I'm going to use the bobby pins first, though. Nope, not worth it. I'm not even going to take that. Waste of friggin' time, man. Sure, we can just come right in and get the fat loots. There'll be no resistance whatsoever. you soldiers doing in the Shamway factory anyways? I guess soldiers like to eat. Let's take one of these. And we'll take one of these. And we'll take one of these. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to take one of those. We'll save it. That's locked. Take both of those. Should we burn an eye candy on this? Yeah, let's do it. We got 12. Nice. 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 <laughs> um, weapons box. Really? That was what was in the weapons box? The hell, man? Okay, let's open this sucker up. Definitely worth taking and selling. Okay. Do we already come through here? I guess that opens the roof. Nice. There's another shamway box in there we could go after. Uh, another big building over that way. I think I'm gonna get up there via this method though because we're running out of time here. Get out of here. Okay, let's break through. Well, no, let's just do this. No, not that. That. Here, we'll take that cement. Otherwise, there's not really a whole lot in here. I want my blocks back. I worked hard to make those blocks. Oh, we were going to go down and get that shamway box.
Beautiful. Absolutely marvelous, darling. We were up here before, right? I think so. We'll take those. Uh, we'll harvest this. You know, if we could come up with three more boards, we could... There we go. We just came up with three more boards. Now we need five logs. Well, the hide's going to be kind of hard to come by. Oh, that's how you're supposed to get up here. Um, it, I, I have the recipe for the tailoring station pinned in the upper right hand corner um, just you know so that we can make a a bedroll but we'd have to come up with a cloth and all that too and we would need five wood that's easy we just cut a tree down and we would need 11 hide. I don't know how we're going to come up with 11 hide at this late hour. The rope we could make. Cloth shouldn't be too terribly difficult to come up with. All right, that's not so bad. Let's get the wood, just in case we actually manage to do it. Okay, there's our five pieces of wood. I think we actually need this to make the two pieces of rope, right? And hopefully we can do that in our inventory. Yeah. Okay, so here, let's just grab some more grass real quick here. Okay, that should be enough to make two of these, right? I mean, it's already almost really too late to do this, but we'll do it anyway, if we can. Okay, so that's the other piece of rope. Oh, we're also going to need this, though, to make the bedroll, right? Unless, well, I don't know, maybe UDL uses different stuff for bedrolls. Yeah, so we don't use grass. We need cloth. Oh, sewing kits. Yeah, we only have one of those. Okay, that's the deal breaker. There's no way we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna come up with. A, well, I mean, I shouldn't say no way, but it's incredibly unlikely that we'll come up with a so another sewing kit for the. It's all said and done. Well, that's all right. Okay, well, uh, here we go. It's an anchor. Um, I think we're probably just about done all we can do. We only have about an hour and a half or so left. Do we get plastic from these? Yes, we do. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go around and see if I can harvest up a little more plastic while we wait. Maybe check uh, in those boxes. Uh, we could take these cars apart. We should get a little bit of plastic from that. And then, um, here's what, here's the plan. I'm going to, can we get plastic from this tarp thingy here? No, I don't think that's an actual tarp. It's like it's painted on there or something. Um, I'll start the next episode when the Horde Night itself starts. And then it'll probably just be, um, I'll record the whole night, but jump cut to anything exciting that happens. And maybe nothing exciting will happen. Uh, so, you know, we'll just play that one by ear. Uh, but we are out of time in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the very next episode. See ya.